Right then, so looking at Bitcoin for you, um, let's pull this out to a weekly chart and see what is going on. I'll clear up this old analysis. Okay, so what we have is a breakout of accumulation over here oops not that um over here so we bottomed out over here and we started to accumulate let's pull that lower mark that mark that a light green We've got the breakout of the structure over here. So we'll give that a dashed line to signify that it's a breakout. Um, you've got this sort of head and shoulders type formation over here in the accumulation area. Now, we've got a trend line here that may be supporting on pullbacks. We have <clears throat> lows over here, which may support on a horizontal basis. So those are the levels drawn in. You've got the highs of the breakout over here. And they marry up near enough with this over here support old support new resistance potentially this area at least um, put this down a bit like so to marry up with over there and draw in those levels Now, if this were to break out, we've got a lot of um, shorts here that are in the money to target. So I would simply just put in these levels where most volume was last seen. Um, I think this could be a resistance area up there, considering the wicks and the amount of trading that took place between buyers and sellers. So I think there's quite a far an opportunity for a fast move up uh, once it breaks this level here. So put a importance on that area. Okay, so highlighting this there. Um, right, so that's what we're looking at on the weekly. Now, having said that, that's from a bullish perspective. Coming down, then we've come back inside of all of this, potentially target the bottom of that impulse. Um, down to here. We could draw our Fibonacci on... No, we'll leave that as it is. Okay. <clears throat> so those are the weekly levels. If we move down to the daily chart and see what kind of price action we've got. Oops. Um, So we've got this head and shoulders starting to form. We've got this M formation here. So that's the thing that's standing out. So we've got the head and shoulders. So this could be um, peaking. So we might have seen the end of the upside for some time.
Okay, so that's the this is the right hand shoulder then. So I'll mark that red as, as that's what we're dealing with currently. So we've got resistance within a bullish trend. What we've come up to into a resistance area as per the weekly chart, now on the daily chart. So we've got this M formation. What tends to happen with these M formations, they can extend, but, I mean, if they were to extend too far, then it's sort of invalidated. But generally speaking, the price likes to move back up into the neckline area for a retest and it may continue up and therefore the bullish bias is confirmed on a break of the highs and move back in and up or it will fail to continue up and this will act as resistance and would move back down in a continuation so that's something to take note of so I'd be looking at this point for a deceleration of this bearish impulse as it moves towards support. And what we can do is we can, those are the prior lows. These are as well over here. So what we can start to look for at this point, I would say, is an opportunity to scalp for a move back inside and then another opportunity to short to move down unless we break let's mark up these levels unless we break um, there if we break that on a closing basis and Let's say over here, we've got that as a resistance area. So we'd be looking to we would be looking for the price to come up to retest inside here. Now what we can do, let's presume that we've seen the lows on that wick. And we can draw a Fibonacci therefore. Between there and there. So we're looking for a 50% mean reversion, a 61.8. And then if it were to break above the 78.6, the thesis would be flipping to the long side. But for now, we're looking to target into this area. So we'll pull up. So we're looking for a, a move into here and then failures in here to come back down. So at this point, we can move, we'll, Make this lighter and we'll make the M lighter. Right, so we'll move down now onto the four hour chart and just see if this bearish impulse is starting to do to decelerate. And as we can see, it is right, starting to decelerate, and we're targeting to the upside. So we can pull this in even to a one hour chart and as we can see this is starting to accumulate okay we've got the trend line um, that has been broken so we're now looking for opportunities to buy to go up now, more often than not, the, when it breaks the trend line. So let's look at the last. Um, you see, what I would usually look for would be this, the, the, the last um, move down. So it would be this impulse here to the low we'd want to see a break of that high to classify that as a break of structure. But it's pretty high up towards the target. So it's a bit risky. Well, not risky, but 
if you're targeting up into here, so by, we, by the time we've got to here, we're already near a 38.2. But any, in any way, right. So what we're looking for is a break of this structure. So if this were to move up, so let's make that, put that in the background. So we have to fuse things. But we're targeting into that area. So we'll make this smaller. targeting to sort of into here so a breakup <clears throat> would be potentially however that's going to play out we don't know but a break of that level there right breakup would usually be accompanied by a subsequent move back inside to give you a discount to to get involved so we'll just make that lighter uh, darker, you can see it. Heavier. Right. So a break of that then would be expected to be accompanied by a move back inside, maybe to, we don't know how this is going to play out yet, but the current, if this were to be the price action, then this would be over here support. Uh, and <clears throat> you'd be expecting to buy it in there for a move to the target. And wherever your stop loss would be below, let's say, the prior lows, something like that. Um, now, so I'm just cleaning this up. So we've naturally got, we've got here move down up into resistance this is holding so at some point you might want to you, you could get involved earlier bearing in mind that then you, you, you're going to expect that to be resistance but depending on just watching this play out if this were to break up above say this resistance and not quite break that resistance, you could still get involved on a pullback, might come in deeper, might come in lower for a better risk to reward, better reward to risk, and um, buying, a, buying cheaper. But bearing in mind that you'd be well aware that this could be resistance and it could pull back right inside and come down to take, stop you out or take you to break even if you've moved the stop up but anyway so that that's my analysis for the bitcoin looking to buy around the daily and weekly support for a move up into the neckline of this pattern